Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Elevated Trailers YouTube channel. Glad you're here. Today we have a super exciting video for you. The brand new Trails West RPM series trailers came back, the Chris Baran edition. And little teaser, we got a brand new model for you, the value package in the link below or in the description below. You'll have a link if you want to watch that video as well once you finish this one. Today I'm going to go over why you need a Barant. I'm going to go over um, what's new for 2023, the sizes, how many sleds you can fit in them, the standard features, and then the options that we like to add. So stay tuned. We're going to jump into all that. This video should be super informative. I'm going to start it with what's new for 2023. So those of you who've seen them in the past, know what you're looking at, can just see what's new and then you can move on. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Real quick on the why you need a brand. So everybody who snowmobiles knows that snowmobiling is a lot of work. You've got a lot of gear and you've got a lot of cold and you've got a lot of wet. So when you go snowmobiling, the idea is that you take your all your gear in the trailer and that the trailer does all the work for you, meaning you don't have to haul it in and out of the house. The trailer dries your gear, it charges your gear, it dries your sleds, it can even have fuel on board, and it's the only thing you need to know that when you get in your truck, all your gear is ready to go and all your sleds are taken care of, that you don't have to um, have this big production of moving things around to get your sleds ready to go and get your gear to the mountain. So that's the biggest thing is you can cut almost 45 minutes off of each end of your ride using a Brant trailer versus your standard non-heated snowmobile trailer. All right, guys, here I've got a 28 foot Trails West RPM Chris Brant edition trailer. This is the 2023, but we'll come on inside, we'll show you what's new. If you look above me as I walk in, you'll see these three 36 inch LED lights in the roof. These are new for 2023, super bright, super clean. And then right up here on the front of the trailer, they've added extra hooks to hang all your gear. So you got these extra hooks right here. And then toward the back um, in the 28 footers, they know that everybody's liking to ride with onesies now. So we got an eight hook onesie rack in the back here. And then another tiny issue that we were having, it wasn't a big deal, but we're perfecting these every year is sometimes you would get water that would pull up and freeze here at the back door because it wouldn't all get out. So we added in a drain channel here at the back with plugs in the corners. So you can pop these plugs out and then all your water flows to the back of the trailer here and goes out this, this drain here. So those are the new things for 2023. If you've seen our old videos where we talk about the meat and potatoes of the trailer, not much has changed there because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you haven't, this is your first time watching one of our videos, stay tuned. I'm going to go over size, options, and all those things I talked about earlier so that you can feel super comfortable with this trailer and don't have to go into a dealership to feel comfortable when and making a purchasing decision. All right, guys, let's go over the sizes, sled capacities, all that. So you'll see these four trailers behind me in the shot. We've got the 20 foot bumper pull, the 28 foot bumper pull, the 28 foot gooseneck and the 34 foot gooseneck. So what that means is this trailer is a 20 foot box with a six foot nose, or I'm sorry, it's a 14 foot box with a six foot nose, giving you the 20 foot overall length. The trailer behind it is the 28 foot. That's a 22 foot box with a six foot V-nose. So that's how we measure the bumper poles. And then the goosenecks, the 28 feet is on the floor. So it's a 36 overall. And in the 34, that's 34 on the floor. So it's 42 overall. Um, this trailer right behind me here can hold three sleds, three mountain sleds. They can be 175s. They will fit. I've, I have a 20 foot personally. I know it works. Um, you just pull them all in facing backward in this door pointed at that door drive the first two in, split them, pull the third one in. It's an awesome, awesome setup, awesome package. Um, as far as the bones of this trailer go, you've got um, 16 inch on center spacing in the walls here, a two by six mainframe on your, on your tube here. And then you've got um, 3,500 pound axles under this trailer with a GBWR of 8,045 pounds. And then the dry weight on this is 3,600 pounds. One of the things I love about Trails West is on their aluminum, they use 040 in the white and silver, um, and they paint these trailers in-house. So your standard trailer with standard pre-painted 030 aluminum comes with a half mil of paint on it. This trailer with thicker 040, 040 aluminum sheeting has three mils of paint. That's six times the paint. And then a trailer that gets used in harsh conditions in the winter on snowy salted roads, that makes a big difference on how this trailer is going to look um, as you own it deeper into its life, it will stay looking nice and it'll stay clean. Um, behind these walls here, we've got three quarter inch styrene board insulating the walls and roof. And then depending on what package you do in the standard trailer, the channels, the heat channels under the trailer are insulated. If you do the extreme cold package, they spray foam insulate all underneath the trailer. Um, 
Let's go walk over to 28. We'll talk about what fits in that and keep moving. All right, guys, here we are in the 28 foot bumper pole. Again, that's a 22 foot box with a six foot nose. Um, you can fit five sleds in here, all pointed that way. You load them all in the front door, point them all that way, five fit easy. If you want to get Western with it, you can cram six in, but it is very tight. So I, I advertise this as a five place. This trailer's got 6,000 pound axles under it, a GVW of 10K. So obviously you've got plenty of capacity. You can haul a car in here if you really want to. And it is actually set up to take the weight of that with 16 inch on center spacing in the floors and a stout frame to be able to handle that. Um, and then in the 28 gooseneck, you can also fit six sleds easily. And in the 34 gooseneck, you can load eight sleds in there. So that's all your sizes, those are your capacities, and, and that's kind of the bones of the trailer. Now let's get into the standard features of these, and you can see why you need one. All right, guys, let's talk about your standard features. What comes standard in one of these if you ordered it um, just bare bones with the crisper amp package? So that's getting you these two benches, you get a single window, you get your furnace, your in-floor heat, all your storage in here comes standard. Um, so the only things that we've added to this trailer is the extra window over there. Um, every other option in this trailer is standard. So starting here at the front, um, you've got 110 power when you plug the trailer in, so you can run whatever 110 stuff you need in here. You've got a lot of storage up here for storing oil, uh, radios, all that stuff. And then you have eight USB chargers here in the front and eight USB chargers in the back. Why that's handy is because I run heated goggles, heated gloves, a radio, a beacon, um, a backpack that has to charge, and so much other stuff. So the USB charging is critical in here because I want to leave all my stuff in here and know that it's charged and ready to go for the next day. Um, obviously, you've got a ton of hooks here all down the walls. Um, and you'll see in the floor here, you've got holes in the floor where heat is coming out the floor up under your sled to make sure it's fully melted off. You've got a tool cabinet here with uh, no heat in it. And then you have a helmet cabinet right here that has heat ducted to it. So it will dry out your helmets. You can also put balaclavas, thin gloves, all that other stuff you want to dry here on the floor. Oh, one thing we did add to this trailer that I did not mention before is we did do the high power vent. We do these in every trailer though because they are a game changer. When you turn on the 40,000 BTU furnace behind me, set your timer to three hours and go inside and forget about it. Leave this roof vent running. It will dry all your gear and this roof vent will suck all the moisture out so that it's actually dry and not just a wet condensated mess in here at the end of the day. Um, two benches for sitting on. You've got your fuel door so you don't have to unload your sleds when you are trying to fuel them up inside the trailer. Ton more storage back here. Um, that allows you to just keep all your gear completely organized. So like I said at the beginning of the trailer, the, or the beginning of this video, the idea of this trailer is that when you go snowmobiling, every single thing you need for snowmobiling is in here, ready to go, dry, charged, and stored properly to where it's not tipping over. Like three gallons of oil fit perfectly right here and hold tight. And a lot of little things you'll notice when you get one that you're like, wow, that's really well thought out. It's because they've been doing this a long time and they build an awesome trailer. I know because I personally have one and I snowmobile a lot and it is a total game changer. Got your eight onesie rack uh, hooks here. You've got uh, aerosol like oils and, and, and spray can here with a paper towel holder. Um, broom for sweeping the snow out and off your sleds before you go in and then tie down holders here in the back. So everything you need along with grippy ski glides on the ramp so that you don't fall when you're coming down this thing um, all these little details make a barant the clear choice you can fit a ton of sleds in here you can dry all your stuff off and you can get to the mountain knowing that you have everything you need plus when your buddy shows up who forgot to charge his radio or forgot to do what he needed to do plug it in in the trailer on the way up and it'll be ready to go by the time you get to the hill now, next, I've got what we at Life Elevated Trailers like to do with all the upgrades and options we like to add to these trailers to make, take them even to the next level. All right, just show you the 2023 Gooseneck Barant, what it looks like. This is the 28-footer, so again, 28 feet in the box, 8 feet in the nose, gives you 36 feet overall. We add these Gooseneck windows to all our Barant trailers because they just really open up that Gooseneck and make it feel a lot more light and open in there. Up underneath the gooseneck, you'll see we've added the fuel option. And when you add fuel to the gooseneck trailer, you get your fuel handle and your pump right up here underneath the gooseneck behind this lockable door. 
And then you've got your seven and a half gallon propane tanks along with your two six volt batteries in here. So just want to make sure you saw this as well as we're going over the sizes and shapes of all the trailers. All right, right before I show you all the stuff we like to add to them, I don't want you to see the inside of a gooseneck as well. This gooseneck has a few added features. It's got the solar on it and it has the extreme cold package, which I recommend you add to any gooseneck you do. What the extreme cold package does is it insulates the floor, but it also adds a second 40,000 BTU furnace. This is a big trailer. It's a lot of space to heat. And so having that second 40,000 BTU furnace guarantees that your stuff gets warm and dry. And then every Brant um, comes with, a, with the stereo system, which is four speakers and a subwoofer. And these trailers rock. You can have an awesome time in the parking lot, hanging out with the boys um, after you ride or before you ride. You know, it's, it's, it really enhances the experience. So yeah, let's get into what we like to add to these and uh, you'll see kind of how we set them up. So one thing I want to go over first on the options that we like to add are the options that we actually don't give you a choice on here at Life Elevated Trailers because they're cheap and they enhance your experience a bunch. And that's where I feel like we really set ourselves apart is because we do snowmobile and we ride these things and we test all this stuff for ourselves. We know what options you want and what options are the best bang for your buck if you order a Barant. So you don't drive home with something that isn't decked out perfectly. Um, the first thing we do is that high power roof vent. That sucks all that condensation out of the trailer. It is awesome for making sure you get your stuff dry. The second thing we do on everything bigger than a 20, we add the second window. Makes the trailer feel a lot more open, just enhances the experience quite a bit. And then the third thing we do is we upgrade the, the propane tanks from the five gallon propane tanks to the seven and a half gallon propane tanks. That's 33% more propane. That's a third less time at the propane fill station per winter, making sure that your tanks are topped off. Um, so those three things we add to every single trailer to make sure that when you buy one here, you're only spending a couple hundred extra bucks, but you're getting a lot of added value to that. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll move into the other stuff we add. All right. An awesome option. If you don't have non-ethanol fuel readily available, or you just don't like going to the gas station as much, you can add a 40 gallon fuel cell to this trailer. Comes with a really handy, nice pump, long hose. You can fill your sleds up right here outside the trailer. And a little trick that we found, guy behind the camera found this one, is the front cam bar makes a great spot to hang your fuel handle when you're not using it. Obviously you fill up your fuel right here on this. And again, it's a 40 gallon fuel cell. I have one on my trailer and I love it because I don't ever have to drive around searching for non-ethanol fuel. Next option that we love, if you don't have a place to plug your trailer in easily, a way to remove a bunch of headache is to make sure that you add a 100 watt solar panel to it. Behind me, you'll see the charge controller there keeping those batteries topped off, making sure that everything that runs off your batteries, which is your furnace, your fans, all your charging, uh, make sure those batteries are full so you don't have problems with that. All right, I brought my personal trailer down because I wanted to show you guys how I set mine up on all the options that we really like here. Some of this is stuff we add, some of it is factory stuff. Um, but starting right here at the front, I have this auto memory jack. So this allows me to raise and lower my trailer to a preset height with just some simple pushes of the button. Um, on my bigger propane tanks, I, I add gauges. So we have gauges here, because I hate guessing to see if my propane's full and shaking the tanks and doing all that. I can just look and know if I need to go get propane. On my front ramp, I added ski glides to the front ramp because this helps keep my sled on the right path going up. It doesn't want to slide sideways here. Um, so I really love that. And then I add just a little piece inside the door so that I'm not hitting the lip of this metal lip and ripping that off if my ski glides aren't, um, or my skags on my sled aren't in perfect shape. Moving inside, um, you'll see I've added a D-ring right there. That just really helps for tying stuff down that is in front of these front two D-rings here. Um, again, there's a lot of little tweaks here that I'll show you that you're like, that's tiny, but it matters. Um, I have a garbage can that I hang right here so that I just when you go sledding, there's a lot of people that bring a lot of stuff they eat in the trailer and then it just ends up on the ground. So keeps your trailer clean. Um, I do these retractable charge cords with the three prongs on the end of them. Just keeps the clutter out of your trailer and gives you a bunch more charging on top of the super ample charging you already get. Um, I run E-Track down both walls. We do the vertical E-Track because it's thinner um, and that allows you to run that stick right up against the wall. That way, if I need to do dirt bikes or tie down other things in here, I've got a lot of tie down options in it. Simple, but 
and cheap, but super effective. Um, moving backward, I have what's called a tunnel sling in this trailer. So what this does is it allows you to pick up the front end of your sled or the back of your sled inside the trailer and work on it in here. The reason that that is so clutch and so key is if you're out riding on a powder day and you tag a stump and dent a front A-arm and it's thrown off your geometry, you can, with a Brant, you can actually, I keep a full front end in this cabinet with a full toolkit. I'll limp my sled back to the trailer. I'll load it in here. I'll grab that front end, pick it up. I'll swap that A-arm out and I'll go up and ride again. So I don't lose a powder day because I had, you know, I happened to hit something or ding something. I have everything in this trailer I need to be able to swap an A-arm or do whatever else I need to do. And for me, that saved me a lot of powder days. All right, behind the tunnel sling, my second favorite option on the whole trailer is a keypad on the door. This allows me to leave my keys in the trailer, allows me to lock the trailer from here and not worry about losing keys on the mountain. The other thing, it complements the tunnel sling really nice because if somebody else happens to damage something and needs to come back to the trailer by themselves, I don't have to worry about do they have the keys and all those things. They know the code, they can get in. You don't have to ever worry about losing the keys to the trailer. Awesome upgrade. All right, guys, everybody has that crappy silver cable coming out of their breakaway that's always got the splinters coming off and cutting your fingers. This zip upgrade with a carabiner already built into it is an awesome thing just to swap that out from the start and make sure you have a solid and reliable breakaway cable that isn't a mess. Hooks right to itself, stores easy. All right, guys, so just to recap, the options we love here at Life Elevated Trailers is fuel, solar, e-track, keypad, tunnel sling, high power vent, electric jack, bigger propane tanks, gauges on your propane tanks, adding ski glides to your front ramp, a garbage can, adding the extra window, and then that bungee breakaway. All of those things we can do here at Life Elevated Trailers after the fact, or we can order it in that way to make your trailer truly just an absolute weapon on the mountain. All right, guys, I hope now that we've shown you all the options that we add and all the things that we've tested over the years, that shows you why when you buy from Life Elevated Trailers, you truly have the best buying experience because you get a trailer with all the options that you need that have been tested by us. If you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Down in the description below, there's a link to the new value package that Trails West came out with, and there's a link to our instructional video on how to use one of these trailers front to back in depth.